All right, so let's go look at the serial port tab. On the serial port tab, we have the device name, the device's IP address, and then the serial port group ID. In this case, unlike the analog or the relay, the serial port address is not used. It is just using the serial port group ID. So if you go over in the ETC console and you want to make this serial port talk to it, you're not going to find a serial port address. You're only going to find a serial port group ID. Make them both be one, make them both be five. As long as they match, you're, you're all set. And it's worth mentioning that the serial port that we're talking about is a standard RS-232 serial port. So with that, we have the various baud rates that you'd expect to see for uh, an RS-232 port, uh, defaulting to 9600, uh, data bits, parity, stop bits, and flow control. And the values you see here are the defaults for the gateway. You can also enable or disable receive and transmit independent of each other. And it's worth mentioning that whatever serial device you have connected to this serial port have the same settings or you make the settings of the IO gateway match that device that you're connecting it to. And there you go. That's the settings for the RS-232 serial port on the IO gateway. On to the About tab.